Doing this will get you into trouble with a narcissist. Doing this around a narcissist will cause problems or difficulties for you. It will cause inconveniences. It will make it very difficult for you to progress in life. Because the narcissist will always be 10 steps ahead of you. You need to be cautious around the narcissist. You need to be careful to avoid potential problems or dangers. It doesn't mean that you should panic or be afraid. A cautious action is careful, well considered and sometimes slow or uncertain. You need to stop revealing your emotions to the narcissist. You need to stop expressing how you feel. They want to have an accurate and deep understanding of how you are feeling and what you are thinking. It tells them what is going on in your mind. It tells them how to affect you. When you get emotional around a narcissist, when you get anxious or stressed out, you are revealing your plans, intentions and ideas to someone who does not have your best interests in mind. It's telling them what you're focused on. It's telling them where your attention, interest or activity is directed towards. It's telling them what's getting to you. What's causing you to experience negative emotions. It allows them to stay 10 steps ahead of you. It allows them to be more prepared, skilled and successful than you are. Because they are able to outmaneuver or outpace you. And they can then plan or coordinate the elements of a situation to put obstacles before you. Problems or difficulties that you are going to run into. Inconveniences. When you run into these obstacles, it makes you wonder why things keep going wrong. But the reason why things keep going wrong when you're around them is because you're giving them facts and information. often without even realizing. You're telling them what you're going to do next. You're telling them what bothers you. Your emotions reveal a lot of information to the narcissist. They don't even need to know exactly what is going on in your situation. They just need to know how it affects you emotionally. It allows them to discover what is important or meaningful to you without directly asking you. They're just listening to whatever you're talking about. Whatever is on your mind the most. You need to stop sharing your emotions with a narcissist because they will use that to set up emotional triggers which will then cause problems or difficulties for you. When you reveal your emotions to the narcissist, you are giving them the ability to control you. You are giving them the ability to control your actions and movements. They will start to learn how you are going to react. And they can then use this to get you to do what they want. 
they can use it to divert your attention from something and they can use it to cause you to lose confidence or enthusiasm in something. It will look like it isn't connected to them because they know how to set up these emotional triggers in secret or underhanded ways. They know how to get you to react to them emotionally. It creates a pattern of behavior where you are then revealing everything that's going on in your mind. Everything that bothers you. Any plans, intentions or ideas that you may have. It gives them the ability to predict what you are going to do next. They know what you're going to do before you even do it. Because they've spent a lot of time studying you. But you never had any awareness of this. You were never paying attention to what they were doing. Because you never expected that someone who was supposed to be on your side would then use all of this to cause problems and difficulties for you. You never would have expected them to do something like that. But that is exactly what they have been doing. And that is why you should not express your emotions to the narcissist. You should not tell them what's bothering you. Because they will use it against you. They might not use it straight away. It takes time for them to study you. And they may be waiting for the right moment. But once they know how it affects you and how you are going to react to it, they will be planning to use it. You need to stop revealing your emotions to the narcissist. You need to stop giving them all of this information. When you're dealing with a narcissist, you have to create your own false self. It's not about being dishonest or insincere. It's about protecting yourself from someone who isn't being honest with you. They're displaying that they are against you and they don't have your best interests in mind. So you cannot be fair with them. Because then you're just leaving yourself vulnerable. You're exposing yourself to the possibility of being attacked or harmed. Because they will exploit you. They will take advantage of any opportunity they get. They see your fairness and kindness as a weakness. They don't see it as something to be respected or reciprocated. They see it as something that they are going to take advantage of. Be wary of anyone who wants you to confide in them all the time. Anyone who always wants you to reveal private information to them. Anyone who wants you to tell them your secret feelings and things that worry you. Keep your plans, intentions and ideas to yourself. Start operating in stealth mode. Because these types of people are always looking for a way to bring you down. 
they're always trying to find a way to exploit you. They don't want to see you being in good emotional health. They don't want to see you being progressive or productive. They have to keep you down. They have to maintain influence and authority over you. They have to keep you in subjection and hardship. Because that then puts you in low spirits from hopelessness or discourage. And it makes you more willing to comply and accept their suggestions or advice. That's why they have to keep kicking you down. They have to keep questioning what you're doing. They have to keep pressurizing you so you don't have the time or energy to make your own decisions. It's all planned and calculated. It is done intentionally and with full awareness of the potential consequences and the effects that it will have on you. It becomes a form of entertainment to them. When they prevent your action, development or expression of a feeling or idea, it provides them with amusement and enjoyment. Of course, not everyone is like that. Not everyone is involved in some sick game where they are out to get you. But you need to be aware of the signs. They may be able to hide behind their words or actions, but it's their energy that always gives them away. Pay attention to the energy behind their words or actions. It always reveals their true intentions or motives. Trust your intuition. You will be able to feel it when someone is not being real or genuine. But the more time you spend around them, the more normal it becomes. It no longer seems as shocking or distressing as it did the first time. And this then gives them the ability to influence and control you. through whatever illusion they are portraying to you. If you feel like someone is not being real or genuine, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it if you feel like someone is trying to captivate or exploit you. Pay attention to the red flags. Don't overlook them. Listen to yourself, confide in yourself, tell yourself how you feel. Instead of telling someone who is only going to use your emotions against you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at narcsbrothercoaching at gmail.com Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.